I made a video the other day asking people when was the moment that they came to the conclusion Donald Trump is racist. A lot of people said the Central Park Five. We'll talk about that in another video. For me personally, it was the very fine people on both sides thing. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. I remember seeing that clip and feeling like, wow, maybe he is racist. And I just happened to come across this video on YouTube. It basically said that the clip was edited and that I should go back and watch the entire clip. So I watched the entire thing. It got to that point where he says very fine people on both sides. And I'm like, see, that, that's exactly, I knew he said that. There's no point in me even continuing to watch this. And then it goes on and it gets to the part where he's like. And I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists because they should be condemned totally. So he said he wasn't talking about the neo-Nazis and white supremacists. Why would they show me part of the story and make me feel like this? Even in the presidential debate against Joe Biden, he brought up the very fine people thing. He said, I think they're fine people on both sides. What American president would ever say, Nazis coming out of fields, carrying torches, singing the same anti-Semitic bile, carrying swastikas, were fine people. Kamala Harris just brought it up on the recent debate. Let's remember Charlottesville, where there was a mob of people carrying tiki torches, spewing anti-Semitic hate. And what did... The president then at the time say there were fine people on each side. People are still saying it even though it's been debunked. Snopes just added this shit in 2024 that that was a, a lie. It supposedly said in 2017, he dropped out of a presidential race because uh, white supremacists joined his same party. I'm not gonna be running. The party is, as you know, self-destructing. When you say the party is self-destructing, what do you see as the biggest problem with the reform party right now? Well, you've got David Duke just joined a bigot, a racist, a problem. I mean, this is not exactly the people you want in your party. Then you find that clip of him with Jesse Jackson. Beyond that, in terms of reaching out and being inclusive, he's done that too. Uh, and created for many people a comfort zone when I ran for the presidency uh, in 84 and 88. And many others uh, thought it was either laughable or something to avoid. He came to our business meeting here in New York because he has this sense of the curious and a will to risk to make things better. And so aside from all of of his style uh, and his um, pizzazz. He's a serious person who is an effective builder of building the build of people. Last year he was a part of our workshop, of our panel workshop on what are the challenges and opportunities. And so this, a year later, Donald Trump uh, for a few minutes challenges and opportunities to embrace the underserved communities. Donald Trump. Well, it is an honor to be here. You see the clip with him on The View and him and Whoopi Goldberg, she's saying that they're friends. We don't think I'm going to get Whoopi's vote, if okay? You, if you did, if you did, let me just ask, if you did I'm, be... And she likes me. She even I, put I me did, in a movie. I was just going to say. She put okay, me in a movie. Yes, right? Yes, right? Yes, right? Yes, right? Yes, yes, right? Yes, right? Yes, yes, how much friends. should I judge? Nothing, Like they right? say in the garden. If you did beat Obama, though. People love this guy. Like Oprah saying that he should run for president. Do you have a vice presidential candidate in mind? Well, I really haven't gotten quite there yet. Uh, it's, I guess well, it's just you Oprah. Always... I love Oprah. Oprah would always be my first choice. Oprah. Uh, Oprah, your competitor, right? Your no, competitor. Oprah's she, competitor. You know what? No she's, I'll tell you, she's really a great woman, though. She is a terrific woman. She's, she's somebody that's very special. Judge Joe Brown said, I've talked to a number of black entrepreneurs who, back in the late 80s and 90s, were, early 90s, were trying to get financing. They could. Somebody told them to go check with Donald Trump. So they come back and tell me they got a loan from Donald Trump. He gave him a term loan. Show up with the interest in the principal, one check. But they had to go see him personally. They independently relate this tale that when they saw him, he said, this is what you're supposed to pay me? This our agreement? Said, yeah. And then tore the check up, shook their hands, and congratulations. Now run your business. And this was when? This was back in the 90s. Waka Flocka talks about how he showed him how to increase his wealth. Get a C-Corp to run an LLC. He going to make it even deeper. Go get a trust fund and run a corp that runs the LLC. You want to get even deeper. Own two um, trust funds for your business and your person to run that trust that runs all the business. It can get deep, my guy. Yeah, absolutely. And Donald Trump actually showed me that method. People will say that they want truth, but when you try to present them with information that goes against their beliefs of Donald Trump, 
They act like this. He's condemned uh, white supremacy over 20 times. Oh, yes, man. Could you, could, could you tell me when? Yeah, absolutely. Would you like to see a video of a uh, montage of, uh, of 20 times that he's done it? Oh, actually, no. I'm more interested in well, walking up and... But how are we going to learn if we, don't, if we don't challenge our ideas? I mean, you, you just made a statement that yeah. is actually inaccurate, and oh, I can yeah. show you video evidence of why, why it is. I mean, would you like to see that? No, no, thank you. He's condemned white supremacy in the KKK over 20 times. Over 20 times? Yeah. Do you have them right here? Can I listen to it? Absolutely, you can. Let me pull it up for you right now. All right. By the way, I'm James. How's your day going, man? It's, I'd be a lot better if you guys were wearing masks. <laughs> we can socially distance. Yeah, I gotta go. I'll wait, wait, wait. You don't want to see the examples? I have 20 examples right here. Yeah, he is a it's just like Yuri said. Exposure to true information does not matter anymore. A person who was demoralized is unable to assess true information. The facts tell nothing to him. Uh, even if I shower him with information, with, with authentic proof, with documents, with pictures, when a military boot crashes his balls, then he will understand, but not before that. That's the tragic of the situation of demoralization. The populace versus the establishment. Whatever they do to the populist candidate, they're doing to you. When you assist the establishment in crushing the populist candidate, they're going to turn around and do it to you next. Whatever rules that they broke to get at him that you cheered on because you were so anti him, those rules were broken <laughs> so that they can get your consent. And now that they've used your hatred to build consent to break the rules, now they can turn that same attack towards you. And you've yayed and amended into existence. If you previously believed that Trump was racist and then something changed your mind, I'd like to know what was that moment. Thank you for watching again. Like I said, I appreciate your time and attention because you can't get it back. Leave whatever opinions that you want in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.